Listen, 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 listen. You can't pay for morals, you understand? We stand on what we... You do anything for a dollar, you do anything for a dollar. That's nasty. You understand that? Professor, I will test you in the worst way. Don't bring a scan, trying to pop quizzes all day. Cause of our chemistry, we do biology. What's happening, fam? LAR movement still moving. Subscribe to trying. You see the thumbnail. Um, more importantly, you see the clip. You know, if you do anything for money, money and morals, right? Shout out to Michael Beasley for this clip. Because a lot of people, you know, in life, you can't just say America because of capitalism, but through the history of, let's just say the history of America, people have been real life, cowardly, spineless people when it comes to money. Like, oh, I, I, stand, I stand on morality. Well, you know how much money you're talking? You get what I'm saying? And when people go, well, I, you know, I don't have a price, but then people, people kind of, Live like Ted DiBiase, the old wrestler, if y'all don't know. Everybody has a price, right? But I've seen people, you know, you get with people in relationships because they got money and you feel like you can get it out of them, right? But somehow, you know, you, you are a high standard individual. Well, I got class, shut up. No, you don't. You look at people as a, as a come up because they got something and you feel like you could get it from them. Same way, like when people want to rob another person, man, they got stuff. I got to take it from them because I want it. Okay, so you do anything for money. And, and the reason why I'm having this conversation about money and morals is, is not just because of money and morals. It's because people use money as an excuse for no consequences. If you if I did it and I made a lot of money, you know what I'm saying? It was worth it was worth the risk. And I'm like, okay. So let me get this right. And and, and I say it in this way. I've known some guys who felt like, you know, this person had is rich, I'm not, so I'm gonna ask this person to do something financially, you know, give me a loan, I'll pay them back. And then they go, you rich, you don't need that money. And it's like, oh, so you put this person in the bind in the sense of, oh, okay, if I respond to you with violence, then I'm gonna get sued, I'm gonna be plastered all over the place, but you get to walk away scot-free because, and it's a come up for you, right? Because, hey, you know, I, you know what I'm saying? I made a little money on it, you know what I'm saying? It doesn't matter. And I'm like, okay. so. Same thing with people who like, people who like, you know, breaking and entering, stealing cars. Y'all funny style when somebody start doing that to you. And see, here's the point. Sometimes if your, if your morals can be bought, don't think the consequences that, that, that are coming are, are really about money. It's really about disrespect. So, you know, take that as another example. You know, in America, you know, people, People do all kinds of things for money. You know, slavery was for money, right? Jim Crow was for money. The current way this country is set up is, is all because of money. But what you don't want to say is, every we, we like to play this game where, I made a million dollars, you know, stealing old people's pensions. <laughs> I'm a genius. And it's like, okay. So what if those people decided to band together and come in your house and kill you, you and your whole family? Would it, would it, would they be wrong? Or would you go, it was just money. You didn't have to do what you did to me. It was just money. It can be replaced. Oh, see that that's the issue with the money and the morals. Because like I said, like he said, rather, you know, if you do anything for a dollar, you do anything for a dollar and that's nasty. You know, and some people play this game way, like, you know, I won if I got over and that's it. And I'm like, no, nah, no, nah, that's not it. Man, y'all, do y'all realize how many people, you know, have had a gun in their face because they really thought they could get away? Like the other thing, you know, money and morals, you know. Some people play the game from the opposite side. I got more money than you, so I can screw you over because you ain't got enough money to fight. It's like, it's not a good idea. You know, I've seen it. I've seen it where people play that, I've got more than you. What are you going to do to me? Uh, I got this much money. I'm this high on the totem pole. And it's like, bro, you got habits. 
You got things you like to do on a regular basis. You got places you like to frequent. And you think, you stupidly think that because you got more money than another person, you, you're actually outside of their window for seeing you personally? You out of your mind. You out of your mind. And this is part of the whole, uh-oh, watching the game, sorry. This is part of the whole conversation about morality. Like when, when cause I've seen, I've, I've met too many of those people who they know doing sucker stuff for money is wrong, but they hit you with the, you know what, when I hit my number, I'm gonna make it all right. And it's like, bruh, <laughs> yeah, you're not, you're not gonna make it to that number, dog. Now, let's take this a step further though. I don't want to hear about, this is one of the reasons why, now I say America is a godless country, you know, and a lot of people who, you know, are live in religious countries, they full of it too, because of the same premise, because they say, you know, it's not the love of money that's, you know, it's not money that's the root of all evil. I'm sorry, I'm saying it wrong. It's the love of money that's the root of all evil. And that's the point. When you love money so much, you're willing to lie, cheat, steal, kill, you get what I'm saying? Um, manipulate. How can I put this? Do every type of unethical thing, you know, and even if it's, it's but it's legal though, you know, put other people in who, who had nothing to do with th these hustles and games you're playing, put steal from them and put them in bad spots so you can go on vacation and go have a nice dinner and go get a bigger house and go get a fancier car and go buy some more expensive clothes. Bro, I'm gonna tell you something. Cause see, when you play that game, you assume that you can buy your way out of danger. You can't. It's the same thing, you know, You you. This country sends soldiers abroad, pays soldiers to go kill people in other, in other countries for the stupidest of reasons. And the soldiers come back home and they realize they got played and they got paid to be muscle. You know, they, they got paid to be murderers and then they come back with all these demons and it's like, yo, I sold my, I sold my soul for a dollar. And so, and, 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 and the dollars here are wrapped into patriotism, right? And when, it, when it comes to that. Same thing, you can say the same thing of law enforcement, law. These people make all these laws or, or, and uphold all these laws to screw all these people over and go, huh, it's okay. There's gonna come a day, not that far from now, where a lot of you CEOs, a lot of you judges, a lot, a, a lot of you lawyers, a lot of you officers, people gonna come see y'all because of the things y'all did abusing y'all power that y'all got for a dollar. Same is the same thing with other people. A lot of you folks who think, you know, it, you know, I'm the, the lie. I'm, I'm, I got to feed my family. You know what I'm saying? I'm just trying to make it. Tell that to the people you screwed over. Cause see, once you'll do anything for a dollar, like he said, you'll do anything for a dollar, but that don't mean that all money is good money. So, don't assume that you get to walk away scot-free. And a lot of y'all get so stressed out because y'all, y'all, let me say it this way. For a lot of people who don't understand this, a lot of people have stoicism. They real stoic. They look like they're, you know, not afraid of anything because that's their mask because they got high anxiety because they know somebody's coming. They just don't know when and where. They feel safe in certain environments, and then they go. They realize, oh man, this this is not, you know, this is not a good idea. Cause see, sometimes if you think you're gonna build yourself a palace by selling your morality for money, at the end of the day, you build yourself a prison because there ain't no way you would go. That money can't. That money is not gonna help you. And and a lot of y'all want to play this game, this the whole even reparations thing. You know, why do you think people are fighting so hard to say, I don't want to, I don't want to give those people reparations. Why do you think that is? Because they sold their soul for a dollar. Right and right doesn't mean anything to them. Fairness doesn't mean anything to them. When you see people who will call it a win 
that they benefited off of somebody else's suffering and they get the and, and they go out and act like life is good just know that's an evil that's an evil human being they'll do anything and and by the way a lot of times the same people that play this game people assume oh they'll do that to strangers or they'll do that to the other to the other race or they'll do that to another ethnicity or another country no they're gonna do that to their family and friends too and then when when those chickens come home to roost don't want to hear it don't want to hear it whatsoever so when you when you know a lot of y'all think y'all could sell y'all morals for a dollar and it's worth it and, and i'm gonna say this lastly and i'm gonna get out of the way don't and, and when you do this and you get money from it don't try to have morals once you go broke because easy come easy go and that's how a lot of y'all are with this fake capitalistic morality y'all do anything to get the dollars but the, the reason y'all want the dollars is all superficial so you lose the money just like that and then all of a sudden you're trying to be a good person to find god don't do it don't do it don't do it because because too many of y'all want to come back around people you know that you owe to help you mm -mm. Mm -mm. and they sitting there like where the money you stole from me well that was a, that was a long time ago you know what i'm saying uh you gotta let that go you know i can't do nothing about that that i got i got i got i gotta figure it out no 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 since you do anything for money you do anything for money and some of y'all who getting caught in the criminal life that's that's what keep that's why y'all get stuck in because people on the who are who are who are higher on the totem pole since they know you'll do anything for money they put you in work in situations to make you do anything for money and it keeps and it keeps you stuck you ain't gonna never hit a lick that's gonna get you out much as you want to believe that you're not but oh let me i gotta extend this a little bit that's the same thing for you church folks you know the church need to give you the, the, the people need to give you money and give you money and give you money mm -mm, mm -mm. god is, god is not a dollar God is not a hundred thousand, five hundred thousand, a million. No, no, you're not gonna find God in your bank account. Just for the record, just for the record. But you know, it makes life easier, and money does make life easier. Don't get it twisted. But if you're willing to compromise who you are for a dollar, and some people are like, I don't care. Cool. And here, and here's what I meant about karma earlier once you enter the realm of i don't care as long as i'm getting something out of this remember that's going to be the response that the people give you kind of like you know you, you see the clips of a movie stuff like you know you, you see these cartel members these mobsters these gangsters they out here terrorizing the world for a dollar and then when people do the same thing to them they had these breakdowns like oh, or they tell you you got to follow this rule and that rule and you can't do this it's like no 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 no, 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 you know, because revenge is free. So remember that. I'm not even going to say karma. If you'll do anything for a dollar, remember revenge is free. And all these little games you got to hide behind don't save you from, from a person once they make their mind up that, that, that revenge is the, is the method, is the motive. All right, so um, I'm out. You tell me what you think. Like, share, subscribe, or die trying. Catch y'all on the next one. Peace. You ever been to the top of the universe? I'm gonna take you. <laughs>